All right, I uh, got a buddy who has the same gun as I do, but um, he ended up buying this Maxis stainless or SS trigger for the Ruger Max 9. I think you've, people probably seen them. They usually got the red trigger shoe and stuff, but we're going to go ahead and put it in today and see if there's a difference. And he got some performance spring kit. Um, some of these springs are for the trigger. I think that one's a striker spring, but I don't know for sure. I'll find out. And then he got a, a guide rod and spring. Uh, said 10% increase, <clears throat> so that's probably not gonna help with the recoil. Um, so I don't know if that's gonna be a difference, but I don't know if it uh, is gonna help with the um, with the trigger pull, lighten it up. The trigger's a little heavy. It's like five and a half, but it's pretty pretty clean. I already have reviews on this gun for mine. Um, actually, does feel a little different than mine also it's definitely got a cleaner break this one has like no it, I think he's got a better trigger than I do actually right out the box so I don't know why he's gonna want to change it but either way let's take a look at what that pull is just to be sure and we'll check it afterwards and it looks to be oh shit covered my hand so here we go It's about five and a half. Try it one more time. <clears throat> yeah, about the same. So it was consistently five and a half. That's what I, I got right now. But I'll go ahead and put all these parts in, see if it looks any different, see if it feels any different. The slide is a little heavy. We'll see if that slide feels uh, heavier after I put a lot of stuff in there. And we'll just uh, see what it is and most likely we'll run it tomorrow. So I don't know if I'll mix these videos or <clears throat> do a separate video. But uh, all right, I'll put it in and then we'll check the trigger pull afterwards, see if it makes any difference. So stand by. All right. All right. Uh, fucking pain in the ass to put all this shit in. But I got it in. So everything we put in was the Galloway uh, Precision, the trigger, uh, the trigger kit, the um, guide rod with the spring which actually feels like it's heavier than the stock one um yeah, it actually feels a little bit heavier so i don't know if that's just going to be faster follow-up shots it may or may not help with the recoil um but that and the performance trigger or uh, performance spring kit all in all the trigger was pretty easy the guide rod obviously is easy but this fucking thing right here was a fucking pain in the ass even getting the uh the striker spring out was a little bit of a freaking pain in the ass yeah, but these uh two springs the one spring that goes <coughs> excuse me the one spring that that goes with the um uh on the, the trigger reset spring not so much but the little so that so that was uh this one right here this small no no so the big one was the one that went with the trigger uh, reset, the small one was the the sear spring. That shit was a pain in the ass. Um, but took a few hours, uh, so not bad for this jackass who I pretty much did it for free. Just, I, I don't know why, probably should charge him. This is a freaking pain in my ass. Um, but here we go, this one's mine. It was... Maybe we'll make this one mine and give him his back, which is mine, and just tell him I couldn't do it or something, and I broke it. Whatever. Or just pay him the fucking money. But, <laughs> now, nah, uh, so let's just get to it. Uh, for all this stuff, I look like he paid an even um, $100, an even, I don't want to put his address on there, but it looks like he put, oh, we can do this. Okay, so this is all he got. The uh, short stroke trigger, the Simli guide rod, blah, 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 and the performance spring. So it looks like he paid $100 even. And for that, he got about uh, a full pound in, uh, reduced. So you saw what it was on his, and let's just check it. His was roughly five and a half. So we'll try to grab the middle right here. And it looks like four and a half pounds 
So it looks like he lost a whole pound, but we don't know what it's gonna be like. Let me put a little low, lower. Oops, let's go right here. So as low as possible, it's just over four. Um, so, and then mine, it's kind of broken in already, but uh, let's just get on the same side. Uh, see, that's not right. So, but I mean, mine is a little broken in. Here we go. And just that five. Yeah, mine's got several thousand, several thousand uh, rounds on it. But um, let's see, the take up is a lot shorter right there. Break. The reset is still pretty long though. Not so bad. Let's check mine out. Yeah, there you go. A little mush still. His didn't have that. And then there's the reset. But uh, yeah, the thing feels pretty good. It's flat and everything. So I'll probably run it tomorrow. But either way, that's what it looks like. 100 bucks. Lost about a whole pound. Um, so maybe we'll compare them my gun to his gun and uh i'll shoot him probably back to back and then kind of go from there but same damn gun he just has some uh some extra parts so there we go there's the install which i didn't install but you see he lost a whole pound maybe more after it breaks in maybe it'll get even lighter so there you go galloway precision performance parts uh i'll drop a video on it maybe tomorrow see what it runs like later.